Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody, this is Dr. Vishal Trivedi from Department of Biosciences and Bioengineering IIT Guwahati and let us continue our discussion about the host uh, uh, cells and how to uh, the, the basic information about the cells. So, in the subsequent uh, in the previous uh, module we have discussed about the structures of the prokaryotic as well as the eukaryotic cells. And in the previous lecture, we have discussed about the different types of cellular metabolism which the these cells are uh, running and the purpose of these metabolic pathways is to sustain the life of these organisms. So, what we have discussed so far in the previous lecture, let us summarize what we have discussed in the previous lecture. So, in the previous lecture, we have focused on to the different types of cellular metabolism. So, what we have discussed, we have discussed about the different types of cellular metabolism. We have discussed about the glycolysis in which the glucose is getting converted into the pyruvate and we have also discussed what is the balance sheet of this ATP production and we have, dis we have discussed how the different intermediates are providing the ATP or how they are utilizing the different uh, ATP molecules for uh, glucose activation. Then we have discussed about the Krebs cycle and we have also discussed how the ATP is being produced at different steps within the Krebs cycle. Then uh, we have also discussed the connection of Krebs cycle as a central metabolic pathway and how the Krebs cycle is connected to the other metabolic uh, uh, pathways in the cell. And then at the end, we have also discussed in the anaerobic oxidation which is happening when there is a no oxygen present in the environment and the, is, then the cell is not going through the, uh, the Krebs cycle or uh, the oxidative phosphorylation, then it is going through the anaerobic oxidation to generate or to regenerate the NAD plus. We have also discussed what is the significance of the anaerobic oxidation in terms of the cellular physiology as well as for the uh, uh, industrial relevance. So, in this context we have also discussed how the anaerobic oxidation or the organism which are uh, performing the anaerobic oxidations are helping the human being to produce the different types of products such as the curd or the ethanol as well as the bread. There are many other molecules which are being produced by the anaerobic oxidation occurring in the different organisms. So, if you want to do a, a meta, if you want to do a biotechnology related uh, events or biotechnology related processes, you also and if you want to exploit the metabolites which are being produced in the anaerobic oxidation or the metabolites which are being produced in the other kind of met, uh, cellular metabolism, you have to grow these organisms in a large quantities. And to grow an organism, the organism required the nutrition and the nutrition is required only for two purposes. So, the organism required the nutrition if you want to uh, uh, grow these organisms and this nutrition is required for two purposes. One, you have to uh, grow these organisms. So, it is required for going through the different phases of the uh, growth cycle and then it also requires for the uh, in increasing their number. So, it is also required for dividing and increasing the number and the nutrition is also required to withstand the stress or stress linked uh, factors. So, it, so in it, how to provide the nutrition into the different organism depends on 
the different types of metabolic pathways or metabolic reactions which these organism can run so that you will provide the nutrition in in, in that form which will be good which will be useful for that particular type of organisms and because of that the nutrition or the the media what you are going to prepare to provide the nutrition to a particular organism so that they will grow as well as they will increase their number and they can be able to withstand the different types of environmental as well as the biotic stresses is very very different and the nutrient what you are going to use to provide the nutrition are has to be provided in that form which the organism is going to accept so let's see what are the different uh, organ different uh, nutrition which you have to provide so for a particular organism you uh, or for every organisms you have to provide the basic biomolecules what are these basic molecules you need to provide the proteins you need to provide the carbohydrate you need to provide the lipids and then you have to provide the nutrients or the uh, the uh, the uh, resources so that it can be able to synthesize the dna as well as the rna protein is made up of, of amino acid and the amino acids are considered to be the building block and the amino acids are made up of of the atoms which are of mostly carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur which means you need to provide the nutrition or the nutrients which can provide all these atoms so that the organism will use that particular kind of nutrient and utilize these atoms to first produce the amino acids and then these amino acids are going to link to each other to produce the protein similarly the carbohydrate it will if it has to synthesize the carbohydrate it has to synthesize the monosaccharides or the smaller sugar molecules and the monosaccharide is made up of of carbon hydrogen and oxygen again for the lipid molecule if the organism has to synthesize the lipid molecule lipid molecules are made up of of the fatty acids and these fatty acids are made up of of carbon hydrogen oxygen phosphorus and sulfur again for dna and rna they have to synthesize the nucleotide and nucleotide are made up of of carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and phosphorus the purpose of these biomolecule is also very different as we discussed the protein is considered to be the building block uh, which actually makes the uh, the body of the particular organisms as we discussed the proteins are present in the plasma membrane and as well as the protein is present in the other organelles within the cell is as well as the protein is also present in bacteria similarly the sugar sugar is the source of energy so that we have discussed in the previous class how the carbohydrate molecules are been uh, oxidized in the glycolysis as well as the krebs cycle to produce the energy similarly the lipid is uh, or lipid or the fatty acid is also been a source of energy for the cell and the fatty acid is uh, producing the energy by a process called beta oxidation so the fatty acids are getting convert uh, getting oxidized by uh, by the beta oxidation to generate the energy and the nucleotide which is actually a, a basic molecule for generating the genome or rna which is actually been utilized for producing the protein which means you need to provide the nutrients which can provide all these uh, constituents for the cell to uh, for the organism to to make the uh, the bigger bio to make the big uh, myo bio myo molecules and which uh, help in uh, help them to achieve the growth multiplication as well as if you are suppose over expressing a particular protein it should also satisfy that particular type of uh, purpose as well so there are different types of media molecules and uh, which can people can use and apart from these bio molecules the you also need to provide the small amount of mineral as well as 
the vitamin as a source so that the organism can do the growth optimally. So, there are different uh, uh, new, uh, constituents which, um, which you can use to provide the different types of sources. Uh, for example, in this, in this I have shown the constituent as well as the source from which you can actually get these constituents. So, for example, if you want to produce the amino acid which is actually the nitrogenous uh, uh, fact, uh, molecules, you need to have the peptone, protein hydrolysates and as well as the other kind of extract into the me media what you are going to produce for the bacteria. Then you also need to provide the growth factor. So, some of the bacteria also require the growth factors which you need to provide in the form of blood, serum, yeast extract or the different types of vitamin, NADH. Then you also need to provide the source of energy. Source of energy could be sugar, alcohol or the carbohydrates. And then because we are talking about the media, in, when in the media when the organism is growing, it is producing a large quantity of or it is actually changing the pH of the uh, media. So, that pH is also should be maintained. So, that actually you do mostly by keeping the phosphate, acetate or the citrate in the media. And then as I said, you in a, in a very small quantity, you also need to provide the mineral or the different types of metals that you have to provide by having the different types of salts of the diff, these uh, uh, mineral salts. And then you also have to provide the selection agents. For example, if you want to screen a molecule for a particular type of uh, antibiotic or particular type of resistance, then you have to keep those molecule as well as in the, in the media. And then you also sometimes have to add the indicator dyes which is actually phenol red or the neutral red. So, that it will also tell you if there is a change in the pH of the media. And at the end, these media could be in the liquid form or it could be in the solid form. This uh, liquid media, you have to constitute all these molecules and it will give you the liquid media. Whereas, for the solid media, you have to provide a gel uh, gelling agent, for example, agar, gelatin or the silica gel so that it becomes a solid media so that you can be able to generate the plates because some of the organisms are uh, preferring to grow on a solid surface compared to the liquid, liquid media. So, let us see what are the different media uh, recipes are available for growing the prokaryotic cells. So, this is the uh, 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 a, a small uh, table to show you the different types of media which people are using for the bacterial growth. Uh, you have the M9 minimal media, M63 minimal media, these are the two media which are also called as the defined media. Uh, what is mean by the defined media is that it actually has the defined concentration of the salt as well as the other sources what you are providing in the media. So, uh, because it is a pure media, so you can actually vary, these are the, uh, vary the uh, con constituents and that is how you can actually change the media compositions uh, in a very, very uh, controlled fashion. For example, if you want to change the phosphate or if you want to change the NaCl or if you want to change the ammonium chloride, it actually very, very precisely and there is no other contaminating uh, complex uh, mixture present. For example, if you compare the M9 media to uh, LB media, what you will see is it contains the 1% extort, 1% uh, peptone, 0.5% yeast extract and 1% NaCl. But what happen is the peptone is a complex mixture. It is actually a uh, very, very complex mixture. So, you do not know what are the con constituents are present in the peptone and what is their, uh, uh, what is their relative abundance. So, because of that and similarly, the same is true for the, uh, the yeast extract as well. So, when you are putting the peptone, you are actually not adding the peptone, but you are adding the hundreds of molecules. That is why the LB or all other medias are not called as the defined media. And, uh, the advantage of having a defined media is 
that you could be able to manipulate these parameters and achieve the best production of your metabolites or best production of your protein whatever you would like to over express or whatever the downstream metabolites which you are producing. So, these metabolites production or as well as the metabolic pathways are going to respond very nicely if you change these uh, parameters. Whereas, if you want to do the similar kind of optimization in a other kind of media such as LB media or the uh, SOB media, it would be difficult because uh, the moment you add the peptone or the yeast extract, it becomes the very, very, very uh, complicated. Uh, so, let us uh, let us see uh, how to prepare a microbiology media. So, for preparing a microbiology media, what you are supposed to do is you have to take the media components and then you, you dissolve the media component in the 1 liter of distilled water and uh, you cover the top of the flask with a cotton plug and the autoclave the solution at 121 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. And uh, uh, here I have we have prepared a very small uh, 10 minutes clip for you to show the different steps in very, very detail uh, and this clip is being prepared in our laboratory. Uh, to demonstrate you how to prepare a microbiology media and this clip is being prepared by the uh, one of my student whose name is the Suram Banesh and what you will see is that the Banesh has explained you the many aspects of preparing the microbiology media and as well as what are the different precautions you should take. In this video, we are demonstrating how to prepare bacterial culture product. For preparing culture prep, we need three components. One is peptone, yeast extract, and sodium chloride. For 100 ml of culture prep, we need 1 gram of peptone, 0.5 grams of yeast extract, and 1 gram of sodium chloride. I am going to weigh individual components and dissolve it in double distilled water. Then we, we have to autoclave the media. Before weighing, care should be taken. Spatula is clean and the balance is tail. After weighing, we have to clean the spatula and keep it in original position. And during weighing, care should be taken to avoid contact with the, any of these media components. After weighing the media components, we have to dissolve them in double distilled water. So initially, we are dissolving in 80 ml of distilled water. Once the components completely dissolved, we have to make up the volume up to 100 ml. While it is steaming, we have to prepare cotton plugs for the uh, flasks. For preparing cotton plugs, you have to take one thick layer of sheet of cotton. With your two hands, fold like this.
Once the media dissolution is complete, we have to pour into the flask. We have to pour up to 100 ml. So we use only one third of the place. Remaining space is empty. This is used for aeration purpose and also ensure proper auto cleaning. In order to check whether the components are auto cleaved or not, the media is auto cleaved or not, we use sterility indicator this is paper based sterility indicator we have to paste on to the flask and we have to autoclave if the autoclave is properly finished then we will see the white strips turning into the black one so this is the indication of the autoclave class company. Okay. Now the media components are completely dissolved. Now we have to pour into the flask. Cap the mouth with cotton plug and the wrap this aluminum file. Tie with the rubber band. Now this is ready for auto cleaning. Oh. Once the media preparation is complete. We have to sterilize the media in order to use further applications. This is a typical autoclave where you can see temperature and pressure indicator and these are the pressure knobs and this one is quick pressure release knob. You can use when you, you, you are in a hurry you have to use this one but I will prefer not to use this one. Let it go on its way. We have to turn on the auto play. so you can see here the bulb is glowing. Before keeping the media components to autoclave, make sure that the heater inside the autoclave submerged with water. Now I am going to keep the media components in the basket which we use for the autoclave. Then keep this one inside the art. While closing the auto crib, make sure that you are closing in opposite direction. Once the pressure and temperature reaches 121 degree, degree Celsius and 15 Delp pressure, you have to hold on that point for 20 minutes. Then you have to turn off the machine, let it cool down and remove the components. The same procedure you have to, while opening, you have to open it opposite direction. To conclude the video demonstration, we have discussed how to prepare bacterial culture media and how to prepare cotton mix and autoclave it. During culture uh, weighing of the media, we have to make sure that the components, media component should not be exposed to air because those substances are those substances absorb the moisture and become uh, liquid. So another thing is that uh, for cotton plug preparation, we have to take a single layer of uh, cotton 
then we have to fold it and uh, during auto cleaning we should not uh, we should not after auto cleaning we should not release pressure uh, in a single shot let it go and come to uh, normal pressure then we have to open uh, auto cleaning in this movie what you have seen is that the Manesh has discussed many precautions how when while you are preparing the microbiology media one of the major uh, uh, thing what you have to keep under consideration is that there should be a fixed ratio between the culture flask what you have taken and the amount of media volume what you are going to take this actually is important because you want to maintain the aeration in the system similarly the media components are very hygroscopic which means they are going to take up the water as soon as you open them in the air so that's why while you are weighing or while you are keeping them in a in, in a, while you are storing them it has you should avoid the moisture because once the media is going to be take up the moisture your media composition is going to vary from one batch to another batch and that actually is going to affect the downstream the protein production as well as the growth of the bacteria whereas you have to take lot of precautions when you are doing the autoclaving you only have to open the autoclave when it is completely cold because the autoclave has the inbuilt uh, vapor inside the uh, inside the autoclaving machine so if you open the autoclave while it is hot uh, sometime these uh, uh, vapors are uh, actually comes on to the face and uh, that's why and also sometime when there is a high pressure inside the autoclaving machines uh, you also the the water which is present inside the autoclaving machine also comes out and these auto these water is very very hot so it can actually uh, hurt you or it can actually cause the severe burn similarly the when if you are preparing a solid media the solid media should be poured in plate once it is very very cold means it is cold to the temperature of 50 degree celsius and once it is cold down to uh, 50 degree celsius then only you add the antibiotics or other nutrient supplements for example if you have to uh, if you have to add the carbon source for example if you have to add the uh, the um, the glucose molecule as a carbon source then you have to wait for the media to get cooled down to 50 degree and then only you should add and then you uh, use this media for the uh, bacterial growth or as well as the other prokaryotic cells growth just let's move on to the other category so in the eukaryotic cell the, uh, the eukaryotic cell as we discussed in the past also the eukaryotic cells are much more complicated and they require the much more uh, uh, the uh, uh, sophisticated systems to uh, not only to grow them but also to uh, uh, to monitor their growth as well as to provide the nutrients so let's see what are the different media com uh, are available for the uh, uh, for the uh, for the eukaryotic cells so initially we will take up the uh, the the easy uh, uh, pro easy eukaryotic cell which is called as the yeast cell so yeast are the unicellular yeast uh, uh, unicellular eukaryotic cell and uh, the, these are the selected media what we are can we can use for the yeast propagation these are called csm media ypd media yp gal media and standard minimal media standard minimal media is a uh, uh, is a media which requires the yeast nitrogen base with ammonium sulfate and it is without amino, amino acid and 20 grams of dextrose plus any anti amino acid or nucleotide required for the growth at 50 microgram per ml uh, it is the preparation of the yeast media is exactly the same as it was for the microbiology media so you have what you have to do is you have to prepare the media composition you have to weigh and then you have to dissolve these constituents in the 950 ml of water and autoclave uh, you have to follow exactly the similar uh, uh, steps what we have what we have already discussed in the 
preparation of microbiology media and uh, and that's how you can use these media for propagating the some of the yeast molecules such as the S. cerevisiae and other the uh, other yeast uh, molecules let's move on to the mammalian system so in the mammalian cell culture media uh, what you are supposed to do is you have to have the media which is in this case is dmm and then you have to add the sodium bicarbonate which is actually a buffering agent and then because the uh, the uh, the mammalian cells are requiring the growth factors and other kind of the uh, hormones then you have to add the uh, the fetal bovine serum and which is actually uh, you have to add at the level of 10 percent and then because the mammalian cells are very prone for contamination you also have to add the uh, antibiotics so that so what you have to add is you have to add the cocktail of penicillin and streptomycin sulfate and that is at the 1 percent so if you see the preparation of cell culture media what you are going to do is for example in this case we have taken the example of dmem what you are going to do is you take the dmem 13.4 grams and then mix it to the water and let it be completely dissolved and then you add the uh, 3.7 grams of per liter of sodium bicarbonate mix it completely and then you adjust the uh, ph with the help of navoh or hcl whichever is applicable and you can adjust you can check the ph with the help of ph paper and finally you can make up the volume to the 1 liter and uh, bring it to the final volume okay since the uh, uh, mammalian cell culture media is having the serum and as well as the other biomolecules uh, such as the amino acids and all those things you cannot actually autoclave these media because if you autoclave you are actually going to destroy the uh, the amino acids and other uh, heat labile uh, uh, biomolecules and because of that the, the mammalian cell culture media need to be sterilized by uh, by using a, a membrane filter which is actually of 0.22 micron meter filter and once you are going to prepare the sterile media then you can actually add the supplements such as the antibiotics and serum and that actually will give you the sterilized uh, mammalian cell culture media in a uh, for for your for your propagation of your mammalian cells preparation of mammalian cell culture media is very very complicated we have also tried and we have also prepared a small movie to show you and to demonstrate you the different steps of setting up the uh, preparing the media how to maintain the ph what are the precautions you have to take and also how to filter this media in a biosafety cabinets because most of these uh, mammalian cell culture propagation or manipulation has to be done in a biosafety cabinet so that your sample is going to be protected from the uh, contaminating bacteria and all these uh, uh, steps are being demonstrated by one of my student whose name is uh, Mohammad Rafi and it will also going to explain you the precaution as well as the crucial steps what you supposed to do and what are the common mistakes what people are doing when they are preparing the uh, mammalian cell culture media. In this video we are going to demonstrate how to prepare cell culture media for mammalian cells. For preparing cell culture media there is a step by step process. First we need to weigh the components of the media and resolve it in required amount of water. Then we need to set the pH using pH strip and then we need to filter the media using 0.22 micron filter to make it accepted. For further use we can also aliquot the media and store it in 4 degrees. So let us get the video started. 3, go. In this video we will be demonstrating how to prepare mammalian cell culture media. For that purpose we need vessel media which is DMEM double cross modified Eagles media as to the high glucose. And we need FBS fetal bovine serum. And we need antibiotic cocktail comprised of 
streptomycin and ampicillin. The basal media provides inorganic materials, amino acids, which are required for basic development of cell, and the FBS is used for providing growth factors to the cell. We cannot autoclave this media because it might degrade the components of the media. For that purpose, we use 0.22 micron filters. This is a 250 ml bottle top filter. Now I will be demonstrating how to prepare filters for media. We have to pack, pack it closely so that it doesn't allow any leakage and after this we have to put it for autoclave. This is an autoclavable bottle pop filter. After we have packed the filter, we have to keep it for auto -gaming. For that purpose, we use indicator to check whether our filter has been auto or not. When the lines on this strip turns black, it means that the filter has been auto -gaming. Okay. Take a second. Hmm. One, two, Three, go. In order to prepare media, now we will be adding the basal media to the already autoclaved double distilled water. We can use double distilled water or milky water for that purpose. After adding media, we need to stir it on a magnetic stirrer for the components to dissolve completely. We can either use double distilled water or milky water, but double distilled water is more preferable as it contains more ions than milky water. After the media components have dissolved completely, we need to set the pH of the media. For that purpose, either we can use pH meter or pH strips. In this case, we cannot use pH meter as the, the bulb of the pH is sensitive to, to the media components and may get corroded. After the media components have been dissolved completely, we will be able to set the pH of the media. After the components of the media have been dissolved completely, we now need to adjust the media, pH of the media. The bright red color indicates that the pH of the media is in the range of 7.2 to 7.4. If the color of the media turns purple, then it indicates that the media is acidic, uh, basic. If the color of the media turns yellow, then it indicates that the media has become acidic. Now we will be checking whether our media falls in the range of 7.2 to 7.4. After the media has been set, we now need to filter the media inside the biosafety cabinet as we have 
added the constraints in the non-aseptic condition. After the media components have been completely dissolved and the pH has been set, we now need to sterilize the media using filter, membrane filter media. For that purpose, we use class 2 biosafety cabinets which are used for handling mammalian cell cultures. So this is a typical biosafety cabinet in which we perform the filtration for media. This is the control panel which, we, which is used to operate this machine. This is the on and off switch. This is the switch for normal light. This is the switch for UV light. Now I will be demonstrating how to filter the media. Now we are going to filter the media. For that purpose we need a suction pump which can be connected to the bottle top filter. This suction pump is for the purpose of extracting the air from the bottle top filter so that we can filter the media. Initially, we need to check the media, we need to check the bottle top filter with less media to check whether if there is any leak or not. For that purpose, we are going to add around 50 to 100 ml of media. As we can see that there is no leakage in the filter, we can proceed with the filtration. After the media has been filtered, we now need to add FPS and antibiotic in order to make it complete media. The complete media comprises of serum whereas the incomplete media does not contain serum. We are adding 100 ml of fetal bovine serum in order to make it 10% FPS containing serum. With this, we have prepared 1 ml of DMEM complete media comprising of 10% FPS and 1% antibiotic solution. So far, we have seen how to prepare cell culture media for mammalian cells. Although there are some precautions to be followed. Like when we are, when we are setting the pH of, pH of the media, we need, we need to use pH strips instead of using the pH meter. There are some components in the media that can clog onto the bulk of the pH meter and reduce its efficiency. Secondly, when we use the media, we need to thaw the media from 4 degree to 27 degree. But we need to thaw it first to room temperature and then to 27 degree to avoid change in the pH of the media. And also if we are producing the media in larger quantities, we have to allocate to as per our requirements and then use in order to avoid contamination and change in pH of the media. So what Rafi has discussed is that you have to be very precise in maintaining the pH and once you maintain the pH, you have to wait for some time and always try to use the pH strips uh, for maintaining the pH instead of pH, p, uh, pH meter because the pH meter has a thero, uh, narrow membrane at the base or in the probe and as that me membrane is susceptible for getting clogged with the constituents of the media components. Then 
you also have to do the filtration as you might have seen that he was filtering the media with the help of a filtration system where he is using the vacuum pump. So, the filtration should be performed at a very, very low speed and why it is important because if you do a very high speed, uh, uh, high speed filtration, you are going to compromise the, uh, the uh, pore size or the pores of the membrane what you are using because the membrane what we are using is having a pore size of 0.22 micron meter and if you do it at a very high speed, it actually going to make those pores slightly bigger and because of that some of the bacteria or the contaminating agent also can get passed through. Similarly, the serum, the FBS or the fotel bovine serum what you have to use is you should use a heat inactivated uh, serum. Heat inactivated serum is important because you do not want to add the uh, immunologically active molecules so that you have to remove the complements as well as the other uh, immuno, immuno uh, agents so that it should not destroy your cells because every organism has some immunity for a particular set of uh, cells. So, if you do not inactivate the meat serum because what we need from the serum is only the growth factor as well as the hormone. We do not need the, um, the, uh, the antibodies or the complements from the serum and because of that these molecules has to be removed and that you will do by doing removing the heat inactivated serum. So, these heat inactivated serums are readily available from the vendors. Also, because the mammalian cells are very susceptible for antibiotics, uh, for uh, it is very sensitive, sensitive for the contaminations, you also have to add the antibiotic cocktail to, uh, to control the contaminations. Also, when you start preparing the media, because suppose the first time you are preparing this media and you are not trained, then you always should prepare the incomplete media. And once the incomplete media is prepared, you should check for the contamination. For example, you can take this incomplete media, made it filter, filter sterile and then you keep it in 37 for maybe 2 days. If there is a contamination, if there is a uh, mistake made by you, then this, uh, uh, this uh, bacteria is going to grow in that particular type of media and because of that, the, uh, the you can be able to know whether the media is sterile or the it is having the some kind of contamination which actually comes into the media because there is a mistake. So, if you make any mistake and that you is very important to do in the in the initial stages, uh, the, the bacteria which been added into the media is going to grow in another uh, uh, 2 days. So, uh, so, what we have discussed? We have discussed about the growth, different growth media for the prokaryotic as well as the eukaryotic cells. We have also discussed the different steps what we are going to use to prepare the microbiology media as well as the cell culture media. And uh, in the subsequent lecture, what we are going to discuss? We are going to discuss how the uh, how to monitor the growth of prokaryotic as well as the eukaryotic cell and how uh, you can be able to uh, uh, count the bacterial cells or how to count the mammalian cells because in many of the downstream uh, biotechnology applications, you need to add the, sub, uh, the definite number of cells into the, uh, into the reactions or sometime you need to select the bacteria at a particular phase of its uh, life cycle or particular phase of its growth, growth cycle so that you will be able to get the better transaction or better transformations. So, with this we would like to conclude our lecture here and in the next lecture we are going to discuss about how to monitor the growth of the uh, prokaryotic as well as the eukaryotic cells. Thank you.